Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing weight painting. A very quick and easy way to do weight painting in the basic level. It also can be used to speed up your process by hours, if not hundreds of hours, over the course of your career or your time using Blender. I know I've used it plenty of times now and <laughs> I'm still going to use it even if I have gotten better because it's just that good. So, a lot of people start off with the mesh transfer modifier or the data transfer modifier, should I say. However, weight paint mode has its own version of it, which is just simply a sped up version of that. So if we select the mesh of the body first, which we want to transfer from, then we hold shift and uh, select the mesh we want to transfer to, in this case, the shirt. We go to weight paint. So that's control tab. Then we go to weights, transfer weights. And at the bottom here, you see how it says active layer, change it to by name. And that is essentially your weight painting done. Though there are some issues, as you can see here with the troubles of having low poly, uh, there is not much definition for the weight painting to do a good job. But you can always add in ring loops wherever it is a little bit shaky. So here, and if we go back to weight paint mode, it's a little bit smoother there. And I'm going to add another one there, another one there, another one there, another one there. And as you see there, it doesn't look too good. However, you can always smooth it up. But it will not move with the model at the moment, and that's because we need to add a modifier. The third column, armature. Select the object as armature, and if we want it to be parented, we want to go to the object properties, the orange box, and then set the parent as the armature itself. That will move with the model, and that will also move with the entire model as well. So, not only does it move in pose mode, but it also moves in object mode. But as you can see here, there are some issues. The differences, well, I say differences, the cons to having low poly is that it's harder to weight paint things unless you have it um, much more smoother or much cleaner topology than I do at the moment. This is just using the basic one from the previous tutorial. And as you can see there, there are some clipping issues with the shoulder and with the arm. In order to fix that though, all you need to do is add a couple more ring loops. So here we go. Control R, drag it across, Control R, drag it across. I'm going to add two more in the middle here. You can do the same here. I'm just going to use this as an example. And as you see, when I move it now, it will still look the same. But as you can see there, it actually looks a lot better. And the reason why is because the weight painting has been better distributed across the arm. There's more topology and therefore there's more blurring happening between the two, which allows for smoother transitions, which also allow for better uh, weight paint. So that is a super quick way of doing the very basics of weight painting, and that will also speed up a lot of time. I know that a lot of people have trouble with weight painting from the ground up, but we'll go over that in another video. Until then, guys, thank you and have a good one. 